The River State Governor, Nisa Mwike, has declared 19 persons wanted for operating illegal crude oil refining sites responsible for the black suit pandemic in the state. The governor has also directed the River State Head of Service to query one Mr. Temple Amakiri, a director in the Ministry of Energy. This is for abetting bankering activities and hand him over to the police for investigation and possible prosecution. The governor of in a statewide broadcast said the government was resolved to pragmatically tackle the suit epidemic. This is by destroying and closing down all identified illegal crude oil refining sites and activities in the state. He stated that following his 2022 New Year message outlining measures to tackle the black suit menace, actions are being taken. The state's tax force on illegal street trading raided some illegal crude oil refining sites in Port Harcourt and arrested a number of persons. The following persons have been identified as kingpins of bunkering and illegal crude oil refining activities in their communities have been declared wanted and directed to report themselves to the state police command to whom we have already passed their details to. One, Mr. Zubike Amadi, OSPAC commander, Oboguru community and chairman of our post central OSPAC. Two, one, Mr. India, of full volumina community and chairman of White Broken Association in our kingdom. Today, one Mr. Oke, who is in charge of oil bunkering in Rumo Parade. Four, Mr. Anderson, who is in charge of oil bunkering activities in Oboguru community. Governor Wike also reaffirmed the total ban on the use of motorcycles in Obiakbo and Portacot councils. This was necessitated by the collective threat they posed to the security of lives and property. No person, including corporate bodies, is allowed to operate autos or up on motorcycles in Obiapo and Portaco local government areas. Any person or corporate entity that requires the use of motorcycle for any lawful purposes must therefore first apply to the office of the governor for permit and proper documentation of the operational details and particulars of both the motorcycle and designated riders. Again, this background, we are here by issuing the final warning to all those operating motorcycle shuttles and or hawking foreign exchange along Birabi Street, Hotel President Shajiri Junction by Zene Bank up to Tumbia Street to immediately leave or be arrested and prosecuted. Governor Wike also placed a total ban on the use of umbrella trading and table trading stands. This covers the entire old and new GRAs of Obiakwa, Portakot City and LMA local government council areas of the state. He said the state government has credible evidence that most of the purported traders in front of houses are informants. They monitor and pass on vital information on the daily movement of very important persons to their criminal collaborators. Consequently, we have placed a total ban on the use of umbrella, table and makeshift trading stands in the entire old and new areas of Phobia and Portaco City local government areas. We shall arrest and prosecute any person who violates this ban by trading or encouraging any trading on outdoor tables, umbrella or makeshift stands in the formation areas. The governor urged residents of the state to report those involved in illegal crude oil refineries. Their names will be published and they will be declared wanted. That is if they fail to voluntarily report to the police. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.